Hi guys and welcome to your collective tarot love messages. This reading isn't specifically intended for any sign. It is going to be a collective reading. But if you're here and you have tuned in, there's a reason for it. Don't doubt it. Um, there's obviously something here that's pulled you. Something here that has drawn you to this reading, that has led you to this reading. And there's a reason why you clicked on it. Maybe there's a message or two or several that is meant to reach you. Maybe it's just something that you need to be reminded of. Um, as this is a general reading, I just want you to keep mindful of that. Um, if you are after a personal tarot reading with myself, one in which the messages are personalized and tailored to your situation, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. Otherwise, guys, uh, let's go ahead and begin with the reading. I'm not going to pose any messages. I just want to see, uh, sorry, pose any questions. That's what I meant to say. I just want to see what messages the cards have for you. Okay, so there's no specific question that we're trying to address or trying to get answered here it's just whatever messages the cards have for you at this specific point in time Um, there is someone here who is certainly pulling on your energy here very very strongly very intensely this is someone whom you may not necessarily be talking to this individual you may be in a no contact no communication phase of the connection this is someone who has pulled away from you okay maybe they've limited their communication with you maybe they just haven't been as communicative or as responsive to you lately maybe this person has pulled away like physically and you can feel the energy pulling away from you or even like emotionally so even if you guys are communicating you know there's been a shift in energies and you can feel maybe this person um, has gone a bit cold or even distant on you for some um, for some of you listening to this it could be someone who's ghosted you recently or someone who maybe have ended someone who's ending or is trying to end the connection or someone who's just like you know ended the connection abruptly maybe someone who even turned around and said to you you know we should hit pause we should take a break on this we should have some you know time alone okay so someone is pulling away or has pulled away okay no contact no communication or very little very contact communication but what's really interesting is the way that they're acting is very much the opposite of how this person feels and i find that very bizarre because even though they've pulled away from you their energy is still pulling on yours so what you're getting is a lot of confusion from this person and the reason you're getting a lot of confusion is that your person is also very confused. So it feels like this person wants you, okay? They want to reach you. They want to connect with you. Not only in like a physical sense. I feel like this person wants to connect with you, mind, body, and soul, okay? This person has a lot of strong feelings for you. This is someone who potentially loves you. This person may love you. This person may adore you, admire you, um... They have some very strong feelings for you, very, very strong feelings for you. 
but this person tries to hide those feelings or they try to act like they don't they try to act like they're not in love with you um you know they don't care as deeply as they do which is really bizarre right it's very very confusing it's very interesting behavior because it's so bizarre but to me this is coming from a place of fear okay so this person is afraid this person is scared and that's the very reason why he or she's pulling away. See, they're pulling away even though they want this, even though they want you, they're in love with you, they want to explore this connection, they want to, you know, build more of a connection with you. They want this four of wands energy with you, okay? So they want to, um, you know, grow and build on this connection. They want for this love and this connection to really flourish and, you know, to arrive at this happy place with you. But they're scared okay they're scared of potentially falling in love with you or even falling more in love with you they're scared of settling down they're scared of building a con um, you know they're scared of commitment they're scared of a union with you they're also scared of rejection they're scared of and this is what i think is perhaps the biggest factor in driving this behavior is this person is scared of being rejected okay this person is scared of your rejection i don't think you're I don't think there's anything you're doing or you're saying to maybe, you know, instill this fear in them. I mean, we can explore that a little bit later on with the messages to see if maybe, you know, they've been triggered in any way. I don't necessarily think so, but hey, you never know. I just think this person is really like, um, I think it comes from like insecurity issues. I don't think this person is very secure within themselves. They may feel like you're a little bit out of their league. They may feel like you're too good for them. They may not, and this is someone who may have like, because this person like loves and admires and adores you and they, they kind of put you on this pedestal, right? You're kind of like, they recognize as something very unique and very special about you and about the connection that they share with you. So they're able to recognize that. But it's this very recognition that scares them because they've never felt the intensity of this connection, of such a connection before, okay? This could have a soulmate energy or even a twin flame energy attached to this person and to this connection, which I guess explains away that whole intensity, right? It's just, it's overwhelming, it's intense, it's all a little bit much. Um... Going back to them, you know, being fearful of rejection, I feel like this person has been hurt a lot in the past. Um, and I think that this person is really in need of healing, okay? There's some emotional wounds that this person is harboring here. There's some things, it could be emotional trauma, it could be, you know, unresolved pain that still sort of, you know, circulates in their energy. And it's something that they haven't addressed and it's something that they haven't healed. And it's because of this that... You know, this wound, this unaddressed emotional wound is sort of bleeding, you know, onto this connection. So definitely someone who's afraid. And the funny thing is this person has pulled away because they think in their mind, they think that you're going to pull away. So they kind of tried to beat you to it. This person isn't playing mind games, although it may seem that way. I mean... It might seem that way, but I don't think they're intentionally trying to play mind games. I don't think there's like a, you know, a malicious energy that is motivating their behavior. I do think that it's just this person is like they're so afraid of being hurt because they have been hurt in the past. OK, um, they may have had a very painful and a very challenging upbringing. OK, they may have they may have experienced and suffered a lot of rejection in their life, like rejection. Um, like they may have felt rejected or abandoned by their parental figures, by their parents growing up, by family, friends, by romantic lovers. And they've experienced a lot of that hurt and that pain. And as a result, they keep people at a distance now because their mentality is like, if you can't get close to me, you can't hurt me sort of energy. So this is why this person is pushing you away, even though what they really want to do is pull you in closer. So this is why this person has and will continue to give you mixed messages okay so it's like they're saying one thing but their actions are doing another okay or how they act is not really really you know what they mean so you know whatever this person is saying or doing is really the opposite the complete and polar opposite to how they really feel um 
so if this person has pulled away i do think that this is someone that is going to you know this is someone who ran away from you this person is going to run back to you if they've pulled away this person is going to you know um, pull you back in it's that kind of energy but i do see that the like this connection also needs a lot of healing so i think there's a lot of healing that needs to take place within the individual um, energies but i also think something about this connection needs healing the star card also presents a very healing quality to it so i think there's something very healing and very therapeutic and very um cathartic about your energy and the energy that you bring to this connection and i think your person senses that i just don't know that they're ready to start the whole healing process because i do think this is a bit of an avoidant okay this person is a bit of a um, avoidant type they're dismissing what needs addressing they're dismissing the pain that needs healing um For some of you, I do think it's important for you to know that you will hear from this individual again, okay? In fact, you might it's very likely that you might even expect to hear from them today or tonight, okay? Because I do think there's this, um, it could happen in the 3D, so you might receive some contact or communication from this individual, because they're in two minds and they have been in two minds about reaching out and contacting you, okay? This person definitely wants to... Um, I mean, this person, you know, definitely has strong feelings for you. They may be falling in love with you or they just may be head over heels in love with, um, with you. But it scares them. And again, that whole fear of rejection. So them beating you to the punch is sort of like they're protective. It's like a protective measure. It's like, okay, well, they've pulled away and they've just, you know, they've, they think that they've dodged a bullet in the sense that they escaped rejection, you know they felt as i've mentioned earlier they felt like you were going to pull away at one point or another so they just beat you to the bunch thinking you know it's their actions not yours and they feel like they're in control that's the other thing this person feels like they have to be in control and i think this energy is easily put down to the ego because i feel like when this person has met you and when they're around you and you know when you're in this beautiful exchange of energies this person definitely recognizes something very beautiful and very unique about the connection this person there's this there's this quality where i feel like it's a recognition of your soul it's this um, instantaneous connection okay and this person is able to it's a soul recognition this heart recognition this person can see into the depths of your soul okay and they they can pick up on that and that's scary because they haven't been able to do that with anyone else before and then what happens is outside of this energy the ego comes in and when the ego comes in um, this is when they start doubting what they feel okay even though they felt it okay they felt it it felt real it felt awesome but they start doubting it they're like okay well what if it's you know what if they're making it up is it really what they're feeling so this is when all these doubts and reservations and hesitations kick in okay but your person can certainly feel what you feel in fact whatever it is that you're feeling this person is feeling because there's such a mirroring effect happening here especially with the lovers card right this is two energies two souls that are being pulled together here by divine intervention and you have bet and you have been divinely guided and you've been divinely led to each other just as you've been divinely guided to this message here so a very beautiful quality to this connection but it's also such a very powerful quality and such a like sorry powerful energy and a powerful um connection that it scares them because they don't know what to do with it okay they understand that there's room for um, a lot of room to explore the depths of this connection but they just don't know how to you know how to go about this they see you as the empress energy they see you as someone very beautiful um, inside and out someone who is very like poised someone who's very secure within themselves and because they're insecure it makes them feel even more insecure about themselves like you don't mean to make them feel this way it's just that the insecurity lies with them so this person pulls away and when they pull away it's like you know they go cold on you okay they go cold they go distant and even if you guys are communicating you can feel okay you can just feel there's been a shift in energy you can just feel some sort of tension or something's changed it's just that this person is going through the motions okay this person is going through a range of motions and i do think it's the ego i think it's the ego that takes over here and it's the 
ego that causes them to start doubting, start questioning whether or not they're good enough for you or whether or not this connection is really what they feel or what they think it is, okay? The Lovers card is such a beautiful card because, you know, this is this is a union. This is a union of two hearts, two souls, two bodies coming together, okay? And I do think that for a lot of you, this has the bearings of a twin flame or a soulmate energy it does it's just something that is very special it's something that's very unique and it's there's a lot of recognition here a, re a lot of recognition of oneself within the other um, but this person has they may have had some very or you may have had okay it could be yourself or your person they may have had other not the same but similar kind of intense connections okay and and that didn't end well for them. It ended up in loss, hurt, disappointment, heartbreak. And this person is... And because those connections are so intense to begin with, you can only imagine how intense the separation is, right? I mean, if you are going through a separation right now, you can feel it. You can feel it's... You know, it's intense to be away from this person. It's intense to not know what's going on with them, not know if they're okay, what they're thinking, what they're feeling. So that separation or that breakup is even more amplified, you know, the intensity is taken up a few notches. So because this person, I think, has experienced something similar, not the same, okay, not the same, but something similar of that nature, they know just how intense a uh, separation could be. And this person is really scared to go through this again, which makes sense, okay, and which is the very reason why this person pulled away first, because the ego wants to be in control. The ego wants to be in the driver's seat. It doesn't want to be in the passenger seat. It doesn't want to be in the back seat. The ego wants to be in the um, driver's seat. And when the ego takes over, this is when your person goes a little bit weird. Or they go a little bit, you know, distant. Or they start really questioning the connection. And even when you're with them, they may not actually verbally communicate to you. Or, you know, even tell you that, hey, they're questioning or they're doubting this connection. But it's like you can see it. You can see it in their eyes. You can feel it in their energy. You can just feel that there's something going on with them that, you know, you know is not their usual self. And them pulling away from you is really, or even them ghosting you, okay? If this person ghosted you, um, and for those that resonate with this, it's because they wanted to avoid having to explain themselves, okay? Because it's already very intense for them. And they felt, okay, even though they, you know, went very calculative, but they felt like if they've just disappeared and if they've just pulled away, maybe it made things easier for them and you because... A, they've avoided having to be the bad guy in all of this, they've avoided, and B, they've avoided having that uncomfortable conversation with you, right? Um, they didn't want to hurt you, and they thought maybe this way it's less painful, if that makes sense. And here's the other thing about ghosting. When people ghost, okay, if you've been ghosted or if you've ever been the ghoster, um, it's just important to know that it doesn't really end a connection, okay? So the mentality behind someone who goes, it's like they don't slam the door shut on the connection. They kind of leave it slightly ajar just in case, you know, they do want to revisit the connection. And normally a lot of these, um, you know, ghosting acts are being done by people um, who are avoidance, okay? Because they're avoiding what's present at the moment, which causes them to run. But then, you know, when they've processed some of those things and some of those emotions, they come, and when it feels a little less intense, they come back, okay, until something happens and they, you know, carry out that same type of behavior or emotional pattern again and again. But that's, that's very interesting. Um, notice how in the star card and the empress here, there's a lot of stars. I do think there's something very divine about this. I do think there is something very unique and something very special. And I think there's like divine orchestration that's happened here because it's the angels. Okay. It's the divine, it's fate, it's destiny that has brought the two of you together. So you have certainly been, you know, fated to meet this person. And if you are in a separation, however that separation, you know, feels for you, whether you guys are emotionally um, disconnected or whether you're physically disconnected, whatever that separation, you know, fits you you know, you know fits however it fits your narrative you will be you'll come back together again okay because if something is destined to be there is nothing more powerful than fate or destiny okay and i think you're you're fated and you're destined to come back together you're destined to reconcile and for a lot of you as i was saying it's very likely that you will receive contact or communication from this person 
very soon it could happen as soon as today or tonight now you're all you know you're all at different parts of the world and you all have different time zones so refer to yours but it could happen very very soon okay but i just want to let you know that just because they contact and communicate with you it doesn't mean that from here on in things are going to be easy peasy right they are likely to do it again they are likely to you know when things start becoming intense again they are likely to pull away or ghost you or go silent or even go weird on you okay so just keep that in mind um for others, I think that even though this person may not necessarily communicate with you in 3D, I do see that there's going to be communication in 5D, okay? So this person may visit you in their dreams, in their thoughts. It's like they're pulling on your energy, okay? So even though they don't digitally communicate with some of you, this is them communicating with you energetically. You may even expect to receive a lot, of, a lot more, okay, synchronicities around this person. So synchronicities such as 1111, okay, for a lot of you, 11 and 11 like you know uh 2 2 2 um 1 11 triple three so a lot of like synchronicities i'm seeing butterflies is another one butterflies dragonflies um songs certain songs that i think maybe uh were you know or are you and your person's like your favorite song or their favorite song or a song that reminds you of them um so a lot of synchronicities that i feel like are um are going to happen or some sort of synchronistic events around this person or around this connection so watch out for those because they're not coincidences they are very meaningful okay and it is a message concerning it is a message from the universe from your angels from your spirit guides the tarot guides um, regarding your your person and your connection now it's not the same message for everyone okay it's not the same message for you as it is for the next person listening to this that message is very specific and it's very unique and it's intended for only you so therefore it means that only you can interpret that message okay and to do that this is something that you're going to have to you're going to have to kind of take on the role of being a diagnostician okay so diagnose exactly what the message could mean okay not what you think it means but what you truly feel it means and try and stay open to that message okay guys i am going to leave the reading at this so do expect for something very synchronistic Okay, some sort of synchronistic event, contact or communication to occur between you and this person. Um, I think as, you know, as early as today or as early as tonight for a lot of you, okay? And it could be something very small, but it will be very telling. It will feel very real and very intense. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and listening. Appreciate your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to this channel. Bye for now.